So we've been asked to show a quick video on how we assemble the independent airbrush station. So the tools that you're going to need um, is a 10mm ratchet or a 10mm open closed spanner, a posi drive screwdriver and a roll of tape. In this instance it's 48mm 2 inch tape. To open the packaging, just take a blade, run it down the tape, down the edges, spin it round. <clears throat> Repeat the process for all four sides now there are assembly instructions well directions on how to uh, how it should look when it's finished but what you should have and um, they're normally well taped uh, we do tend to overdo the packaging you've got the nuts bolts washers there's the two uh, IBS angle brackets and the bottom feet so I'm going to take these out of the packaging there's no point you watching this it's just a case of removing it from the packaging Hopefully, as you can see, we have the two legs that sit on the desk. They have got the rubber backs that uh, reduce slipping and they've also got the end stops. Now these can be used for hanging a toolbar off as well. You put the screws in from the other side for the toolbars. Um, with the standard ABS, you don't get the toolbar unless you buy a kit. Um, the likes of Marissa at Foxy have put together. The IABS independent airbrush station consists of the two brackets and then on either side you have the adjustment handles, the locking screw and the mounting screws for the legs. Okay, so what we do first is we take the two inch tape in this instance and all I'm going to do is use it as a measuring device because I'm being extremely lazy. What we're going to do is going to turn it onto its side and we're just going to stick the tape there and then we're going to invert that because this side I'll move it into camera view and there. All this is going to do is help us determine how far back we wish to set the adjustment bracket. Okay, now next what we're going to do, these are the bracket screws that screw to the base legs. You don't screw them all the way in, you just partially screw them because what they're going to do they're going to slide in and then be tightened up onto the side of the leg like so so to do that we remove the rugger, rubber <laughs> try and say that again the rubber bung and we position it so that it slides into the v-frame and then we get it to the position where we want it and the light out the way and then we just tighten it up now on the inside of the bracket we need to remove the bolt from the angle adjuster 
and we're going to pop that from that side then we're going to push the washer on and then we're going to set now we have various handles um, because of Covid getting hold of them has been challenged so you may get a different handle to this it doesn't affect the use of the airbrush station it just is how it looks once we've got that on we position the rubber on there and that is almost ready to go one more bolt now and that goes into the center there we put the washer on and then we tighten this up okay now we don't have to worry about once it's because it's a lock nut we don't have to worry about once it's reached its tightness that's all there is to it so that's pretty much ready to rock and roll now I'm going to repeat the process and we're again going to turn the video off because there's no point me really just repeating myself and you getting bored with this video hopefully you can see that what we've got are the base legs identical to each other um, that is it 95% assembled now all we need to do is fasten the base legs to the actual easel face itself okay before I do that I'm going to remove the tape and next what we're going to do is I should show you this if um, you get lost off confused there are um, an assembly diagram here showing a close-up of what we've just done okay where everything fits I'll remove that we are going to tilt the station on its side and now what we're going to do is we are going to slide the bolts you've got to line the um, line the nuts so that they slide nicely in now you want about a centimeter which is 10 millimeters you can tighten the locking mechanism up like that which helps and for speed I'm just going to use the ratchet put it on tighten and we're going to tighten it up if I loosen that off and we've still got some play in it you want to tighten it so that it's actually gripping the frame now I feel that's tight that's a little bit too tight what I tend to do is just tighten it till it's really stiff and then just gently knock it back a little bit there once you're happy with that you do uh, that side is complete so we then turn the easel over and we'll repeat the process what we're doing is again is putting the angle adjuster in first and just there you go lining the nut up inside or the bolt head and again and get it to about the same distance you can be very scientific by just placing um, a couple of sheets from a what am I doing? Uh, cardboard box we're going to tighten that up again to lock that off and then we're going to tighten the nut again right that's tight there so if I loosen that that's too tight so we're just going to slacken that off a tiny bit make sure that's loose a bit tighter I think on that it's, you want to um, you want a little bit of friction but not too much there you go okay so that is 
the independent airbrush station assembled. It sits on the desk like that and then you can then adjust the angle accordingly. That's it. I hope you found it useful. Um, you can drop us an email at sales at visionaire.com if you have any questions um, or you can catch us on Facebook which is the Vision Air Modular Workstation that's our page and that's it I hope that's been a useful little uh, video for you thank you